All right, class, today we have an indicator from the great Larry Williams. Now, some of you guys might think I don't like Larry Williams because of this video right here. Remember this? This is also a Larry Williams indicator, and I said that this was one of the only indicators I'd come across that was so consistently bad that if you, you just did the opposite of what it told you to do, you would actually have a good indicator in front of you. And I meant that. I still do mean that. But make no mistake, Larry's the man. You know, I would say out of the maybe top four contributors to the technical analysis space of all time, I'd say Larry's probably a solid three, fair to say. We'll see what he's got for us here. It's the Larry Williams Proxy Index. That's right, even though it's Larry Williams, this one is a bit more on the obscure side. Uh, but like every video we do, we try to find you indicators that work well in certain applications, um, but also indicators that have a little bit of an interesting twist here or there to them. You know, and this one certainly fits the bill. So before we start, if you're brand new, enjoy the video, but it's not gonna make a whole lot of sense to you. But this channel will make a lot of sense to you if you start from the beginning. So go to nononsenseforex.com, watch the video I have on that homepage, and get yourself started. You are going to enjoy the journey hundreds of thousands of traders already have. So let's jump into the specs on this one. Now the year is going to be 2005. That is when Larry's book came out that featured this indicator. Now it is going to be a confirmation indicator as well. Uh, but subtype is where things get a bit different. Now this isn't going to be a completely foreign concept to a lot of you. But this is not a zero cross confirmation indicator. This is a 50 cross. Why? Because the line where the zero would be is actually 50. The range goes from 25 at the bottom to 75 at the top, bisected by a 50 in the middle. Real easy. You'll see what I mean in a minute. And as an exit indicator, in my opinion, probably not the best idea. Uh, but let's go take a look. Now, this thing is going to be a hot mess, fair warning. But at first glance, you would think this is the worst indicator you've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, look at all those false signals. Now, if you guys were new, I would probably have pulled up my own charts and put this up on my charts to show you the, the 50 line, how it's not zero, all this other stuff. But you guys pretty much know the deal at this point. So instead, let me show you how this works. Now, it's going to do the inverse of what you would think these, these are supposed to do, at least at least indicators that follow price. This goes the opposite way. So let's find some signals that actually worked. So right here, crossed and closed above the 50, that's going to be a short. So you're going to enter a short right up here. Over here, it's going to cross and close below the 50 line, and that's going to signal a long. That's going to give you that there. Now just by looking at it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 16 failed signals on this one chart. Now, I said in a video before that if they show you an example on any of the forums where you go and download indicators, and the example looks this bad, it's probably not a very good indicator because they should be showing you how well the indicator does when it works really well. Yeah, but some people don't think that far, so you still got to test them anyway. You know, that's something I learned later in life. So let's get to those results here. Now, before we do that, just so we know, this serves as your disclaimer. Pause it, read it, and just know that after this episode, down below in the description, we will be giving you a link to my automation blog that shows how to go in and test these things yourself. You can sit around and wait for us to do it, or you can get in there yourself and make it happen. You will also get the deep dive blog from Stonehill Forex telling you everything you need to know about this particular indicator, along with the tweak settings that I'm getting ready to show you. I'm showing you the results of the tweak settings. If you actually want to see what those settings are, you got to go to the blog and then a place for you to download it, just like every week. Okay, so on to EURUSD. Now, as bad as you saw that example, when everything was ran, that's, I mean, it's almost break even, you know, for something that low. But after the tweaks, didn't make it quite respectable. And one of the things you're going to notice on the tweaks, well, one of the things you're going to notice with this indicator itself is there's only one setting you can even mess with on here. So it's just a matter of how smooth do you want this thing smoothed out. 
Now, I'm not sure where exactly Dan had it in that example, uh, but that was pretty gross. Um, it just goes to show that you can actually make it quite a bit better. And on the four hour, you know, depending on what you guys do, it's a lot better. Now, on to gold. Now, we've learned by now, fans of the Indicator Profile Series, gold is where things get wild. And this week is no exception. <laughs> this thing is amazing <laughs> on gold on the daily. I don't know why, but it is. I mean, look at that win-loss ratio. And total trades are right in a good zone. I mean, that's, that's good. All you metals traders out there, this is at least something to take and throw into your toolbox. Uh, because those are results we rarely see on here. And then if we move over to Bitcoin, things get a bit weird too. Look at the daily. Look at the improvement. <laughs> I mean, hate to pick on Larry again, but... <laughs> <laughs> this is another indicator that you could probably put on Bitcoin, do the opposite of what it tells you to do, and do awfully darn well, at least on the default settings. Uh, but hey, it is what it is, and after the basic tweaks, you got some pretty nice numbers here. So that will conclude the video for the Larry Williams Proxy Index. If you like what we're doing, subscribe, hit the bell. Don't miss anything. We'll keep them coming. Go get it.